Ladies and gentlemen, Dejan is here tonight. His family is here with him, a young man who's been through far too much. And we're lucky to have him here. Ladies and gentlemen, Dejan Rose. Good evening. I am proud to be here tonight and proud to be a 2015 graduate of Rainier Beach High School. But I would have not achieved that goal and in the process turned my life around without the Boys and Girls Club. I've had some pretty challenging times. My mom's been a single parent for the most part and she's worked hard to try to make sure my brother, my sister, and I have everything we need to be successful in school and in life. But it's easy for a kid to get into trouble. Before the Boys and Girls Club, I was hanging out with the wrong crowd, and I got into a lot of fights. During middle school, I was jumped and stabbed three times. I then started my freshman year. With poor attendance, as I was taking my little sister to school every morning because my mom had to be to work early. During my sophomore year, I was shot in both my legs during a drive-by targeting the kid I was talking to. Thank God I recovered. But I continued to fall behind at school. They say, when it rains, it pours. During this time, my stepdad, who was a very much part of my life, passed away. This took a real toll on me and my family. A great deal of anger and resentment grew inside me, and I started to grow, slip away even further from academics while my family was in chaos. Fortunately, I was connected with the Boys and Girls Club during my junior year. My brother was living with my grandmother, and I moved in with him. He had been going to the Boys and Girls Club, and both of them were continually on my case to go, so I finally gave in. My brother introduced me to the Seattle Youth Violence Prevention Initiative Network at the Rainer Vista Boys and Girls Club, and they helped me get various paid internships and jobs. The Boys and Girls Club is my second family because they stood behind me and encouraged me through good and bad times. I even call my club mentors auntie and uncle. I've changed so much since getting involved with the club. Before, I didn't listen, and I had anger management issues. And now I'm the one listening and mentoring kids on how to manage their angers and emotions. But there's still more to my story. I was now a senior. Once again, I faced challenges and instabilities, especially at home as my family did not have a set place to live and we moved around until the end of the third quarter. I was also told I may not be able to graduate on time. I was so disappointed. I really wanted to graduate with my class. Needless to say, this was a time of high stress. But because of the involvement of the Boys and Girls Club in my life, I knew I wasn't facing it alone. Auntie Marty called a meeting. We talked about what I would need to do to graduate on time. It was big. Uh, it was very clear to me that I needed to make the decision myself, commit to it, and make it happen. I have to admit, I was overwhelmed. But as I sat in that room, I realized I had a whole group of people who loved me and was cheering for me. I had to do something. It was pretty emotional. My mom and my grandmother were crying, but it started with me going to school as usual. And then after school, I would go to the Boys and Girls Club to do some online courses. Auntie Marty, Uncle Marvin, and other staff members volunteered to stay with me, sometimes until 1 and 2 a.m. in the morning. When I finished my last class and checked into the office, I knew in that moment 
I could do anything as long as I put my mind and effort into it. I am proud to have graduated on time with my peers, and I... And I am proud to stand here before you today and say that I have overcame my adversities and accomplished goals that people said I couldn't do. My Boys and Girls Club family always encouraged me and believed in me even when I didn't believe in myself. The club staff are always there for the kids and their families. And I'm just one of the kids whose lives turned out for the better because of the Boys and Girls Club. I'd like to do a quick shout out to my family and SYVPI staff, Auntie Marty, Auntie Malia, Auntie Ricole, Uncle Marvin, and Uncle Rich. They all gave me hope in my, and for my future. I thank them for encouraging me and helping me accomplish my goals, and I thank you all for listening to me this evening. That's Dejan Rose, everybody. Before we get started, the videotape was your mom, is that not so? Yes. And is she in the house tonight? She's in the back. Would you like to introduce her and have her stand, please? Yes. Uh, mother, may you please come up here, please? <laughs> oh, oh, he's trying to call you up to good. the stage. Ooh. <laughs> here she comes. Oh, uh, why not? Thank you, Shandria. Thanks for coming up. Thank you. Wow. In the video, Mom said that Deshaun gave them hope. But Mom, you're giving hope too. And what an ambassadorship this young man is. Don't yeah. you agree? Isn't he an ambassador for all youth? If it's meant to be, it's up to me. He took accountability and stared it right in the eye, and he faced us with great courage today. I hope you're, you was moved like, like I was, and I hope you're so moved that you'll choose to support youth just like Deshaun.